Welcome to an exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. This tutorial is aimed at people with a beginner skill level. Hello, this is a tutorial teaching you how to archive using 7-Zip and WinRAR. All links and additional information will be in the video description on the right side. Alright, so first you gotta download and install either WinRAR or 7-Zip. First, I'll tell you the difference between the two. 7-Zip is completely free and open source, so I would recommend it. And WinRAR is uh, shareware. You ha either have to buy it or then reinstall it every 40 days. So they both do the same job. WinRAR is a little more professional, so most people use it, despite the fact that it's shareware. So I'll be showing you how to use both. All right, so installing WinRAR and 7-Zip is easy. I'll just walk you through that really quickly. So you just click install and then have it associate with all these file types and click OK. And you're done that. And to install 7-Zip, all you do is click install. And uh, there you have it, it'll be installed. What is archiving? Well, archiving would be taking a bunch of files and adding them all into one file. And uh, this can either be RAR, it can be ZIP, it can be 7Z. There are lots of different kinds of archives. The two main archives, though, are ZIP and RAR. So these uh, two applications will both function the same way using ZIP and RAR. They can both make them, they can both open them. All right, so first we're going to make an archive. So let's say we wanted to upload these two files here. We can put them in one folder here. And now we can right click this folder and we can add it to our archive using WinRAR. I'll show you how to use 7-Zip after. So first you can give it a name and then select RAR or ZIP. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll use RAR for this. Now your compression depends on the speed really of your computer. Uh, fastest will compress it faster but it won't do as good of a job. Best will make it small. So uh, maybe best might make it 10 megabytes, but fast this might make it 12. So you'll save a little bit of space doing this. It might be worth the extra time. Now you can select it if you want it to be split into mini archives in a way. Like uh, I can take one 200 megabyte archive and split it into two 100 megabyte archives. This is useful if you're uploading it to a website and they only allow a certain size files. So uh, I'm not going to be uploading this or anything, so I'll just leave this blank. Now one thing you might want to do is set a password. You can select show password so you can see what you're typing. Type in your password, anything you want, and now you can encrypt the file name. Encryption will uh, stop you from seeing what you have in your archive until you type in your password. Um, you, you can do that if you want, but I'm not going to do that for this. Now the only other thing you might want to do is leave a comment. This could be maybe instructions for your file, whatever you want. So you can type this in manually down here, or you can, you can make one in a text file, save it, then browse for it, and then open it. And this will leave a comment. Click OK, and it's going to make your archive. Here's my archive file. So uh, these two files in here are in this one archive here. I can upload this as a single file. You can't upload this. You need to upload them individually or archive them. All right, now to open the archive, just double click it. A warning will pop up here uh, telling you you need to license it. Within 40 days, you can click close. This is where your comment will be. So that's for my text file. All right, now you can either extract two uh, a location, or you can just drag it, which is simpler. So you can drag it onto your desktop or anywhere you want, and then you'll be prompted to type in your password for it. If not, if there's no password, it'll just skip right through the center of the password and it'll extract it like that. Go into here, and here's your file. Alright, now I'm going to show you how you can use 7-Zip to do the exact same thing. So you can, once again, Right click it, add to archive only using 7-zip. You can name it, and from this menu select zip. 
because uh, if someone is receiving the file and they have WinRAR, they will be able to open it as well. All right, now compression. Once again, it's the exact same thing as WinRAR. I'll select Ultra here. Now I'll leave everything else the same until I come to enter the password. I'm going to click Show Password. So it's checked off so I can see what I'm typing. Type in my password if I want one. I don't have to. And leave this here for the exact same setting. And click OK. And there we have it. This is a zip archive. It's the exact same thing that WinRAR could make. Or you could use RAR. And uh, you can open this with 7-zip, or you can open this with WinRAR the exact same way. All right, so this was just a walkthrough in archiving. You basically now can archive something and extract something. So uh, this was a beginner's tutorial. I'll be making uh, intermediate as well as advanced tutorials. So please comment and rate this, and if you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.